a Virgo. Welcome to Virgo Bright Tarot. All Virgo all the time. All right, we're going to get into um, your reading. This is going to be more about you, Virgo, and what you need to do to attract the love that you want and that you deserve. For those of you that are currently in a situation, it could be just to improve um, your current relationship. So spirit, this is for Virgo to attract the kind of love that they want and deserve. To attract the kind of love they want and deserve. What is the advice for Virgo? What is the advice? Okay, we have unplug and relax for a spell. So um, I feel like disconnecting from social media could be a thing for some of you. Um, for some of you, there is a need to get into like maybe some yoga or some meditation classes. I mean, maybe you'll meet someone there, but um, for a lot of it, it's it's an energy of like loosening up. Okay, just like <laughs> loosen up a little bit. All right, well, we'll clarify it. All right, what else? All right, we have potion. Remember to practice self-love. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here about you kind of focusing on yourself. Um, which we know, you know, loving yourself and showing yourself self-love, showing your, giving yourself that extra attention, maybe working on yourself aesthetically, things like that, is always going to attract, um, you know, that type, the, the type of energy that you w want towards you. Give me another one, please. One more for Virgo. And it says mural, be your own first priority. So we've got a theme here. We've got a theme here about you putting yourself first. I feel like there's a reason for that. Wow, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Stars, you can manifest whatever, you, you can manifest your every, your every wish. I say whatever you wish, but your every wish. So I feel like... A lot of you have maybe thought, well, are my standards too high? Um, you know, is there something I need to, re you know, relent on? I don't, I don't think your standards are too high, Virgo. Let, let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, tell me about the unplug energy. The tower, unplug, relax for a spell. In attracting the love that Virgo wants or improving a current situation the ace of pentacles it's just gonna come on come in like I feel like um having a welcoming a relaxed and welcoming demeanor may attract someone um or your current partner may attract them to you some of you may want to spend some money on yourself as well I feel like this is all an energy of giving to yourself. There's something about giving to yourself that brings in the type of the type of connection that you want. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Why the Six of Cups? Seven of Cups. We go from the Six to the Seven. Okay, so I feel like this is progression from the past. I feel like relaxing, it may help you understand yourself. It may help you understand a side of yourself maybe some of you don't know. Like if you're always on the go, you're always about that money, you're always about business, you're always about, you know, planning something or being logical or whatever. Something about you just kind of taking a woosah here. Okay, let's look at the potion energy. Remember to practice self-love. We have the King of Cups. Wow. Um, I feel like some of you do need to to re-examine your relationship that you had with your father or lack thereof if for some of you. Um, understanding that if there was a lack of love, support, protection, that you are still worthy of that love regardless. Okay, I also feel like for some of you, this could be calling in um, masculine energy. I'm not talking about gender. I'm talking about masculine energy. That's very healthy, very loving for you as well. Okay, <clears throat> King of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. 
which is that transition energy. When we talk about practicing self-love and we have the Six of Swords, which could literally be about moving Virgo, literally about trans, um, you know, transferring from one place to another, from choppy waters to smooth waters, you know, it may be actually necessary to actually make some sort of move, okay, for yourself. We're practicing self-love here, okay, and not really worried about what other people think, other people say, what other people are going to feel, what other people need. We're talking about what Virgo needs, right? All right, so Six of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. Again, I feel a strong energy of you investing in yourself, Virgo. All right, the mural be your own first priority, the six of pentacles again not accepting breadcrumbing balance in your life absolutely um i think for some of you you do need to put yourself a little first sometimes i mean i understand having kids i have kids i have a grandchild i totally get it but there is an energy of like taking care of yourself before you can take care of other people right like like on an airplane you gotta put that mask on yourself before you can help your neighbor that type of energy okay so six of pentacles, two of cups. I feel like for even those of you that are in a current connection, there is a necessary a necessity for some things and some times where you have to put yourself first because again, you're no good to anyone else if you are not any good to yourself, right? You have to be in a healthy place, mind, body, spirit, All right? Two of cups. And the Ace of Wands, yes. Um, I even feel like even for hot, lovely relations, you guys, um, voicing what you need, what you want, exploring that part of you, Virgo. I feel like even if you're single, um, exploring that part of you that what your physical needs are, you know, and I'm talking about hot, lovely relations, y'all. I really am. Um what you like not being afraid to voice it putting that is not just about like because we virgos we are pleasers right we but <clears throat> you definitely want to make sure that you are also satisfied that you are also um you know you're putting yourself as a priority here okay all right what else does virgo need to work on to attract the love that they want and deserve hold on y'all hold on hold on one second okay to attract the love that they want and deserve what does love i mean what does virgo need to work on communication maybe even taking action for some of you um maybe be a little bit more passionate about your communication if there's something that you want instead of being so laid back or afraid to express your wants and needs okay eight of wands look we have the three of swords so there could be some healing that still needs to take place as well not of swords yeah there there definitely could be some I don't want to say trust issues, but there could be, especially around new love with the Ace of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you, you want to take action, but there could be a unhealthy mental space when it comes to past heartbreak with the Three of Swords or what could happen or the third parties that you see in other relationships. Just kind of having this erratic thinking within the mind. Because um, I feel like the 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 most um extreme end of the knight of swords is kind of like paranoia impulsive thoughts you want to avoid that you want to do what you have to do to heal that because you know thoughts can become things right all right what else we're gonna need to do to attract the love that they want Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles can be about lack, but it also can be the fear of lack. The fear of you're not good enough. The fear of um, you lack something or that there's going to be an abandonment issue. You know, if there is abandonment issues in the past, those may need to be dealt with up front, you know. All right, the Five of Pentacles. 
the king of pentacles yeah i feel like for a lot of you again there's some things that stem from the parental um roots for some of you um and it's not that you can prevent anybody from abandoning you if somebody wants to walk away they will however this is you not being a, a servant to the fear of it okay like don't allow that to enslave you the fear of being abandoned if somebody wants to go let them go <laughs> bye bye you know that type of energy all right yeah i think again for a lot of you it's a fear of the ending a fear of lack there may be some other things that need to kind of have like a a post-mortem like you need to have a funeral for some memories like let some things die you know bury some stuff could have some closure even if you never got closure from the other person just kind of create it yourself by accepting it and moving on you know what i mean yes virgo yes indeed all right okay all right so let's see virgo making the necessary improvements what's kind of um energy is virgo going to attract now i understand you can attract good and bad just kind of gotta kind of weed through it right All right let's see got for virgo okay we got fun times unplug relax yeah it may be time for some of you to get out all right a little bit more and um yeah, it may be time for some of y'all to get out. Look, what do we got? Dating, yes. Don't be afraid to date. You know, a lot of people put this negative stigma on serial dating or dating a lot. You know, and it's just like, how are you going to find what you're looking for? You know, you ain't got to sleep with everybody. I don't think that's healthy, but still, that's your business. I ain't judging nobody. But I do feel like it's okay to date um if you're single now if you are in a connection and this is talking about dating within your connection fun times within your connection there may be there may need to be something that resparks this and laughing and having fun together may be part of that equation okay all right give me one more one more for my virgos we got friendship wow so for some of you you could be cultivating um a relationship through a current friendship for those of for others of you it could be friends that are hooking you up ready to help ready to don't be afraid of the blind date personally never been on one but um it's, it's something I've never tried so maybe maybe you know getting out of the box for some of you is a thing okay um, for others of you within your relationship your current connection cultivating those that that energy of friendship within that relationship is going to help you grow into what you really really want to manifest with that person okay to to really um cultivate that friendship and i know some people that are that are so more loyal to their friends than they are um family members and stuff like that so yeah yeah i feel like for a lot of you this is just about like getting out loving yourself more believing you deserve more okay believing you deserve more so a lot of you have maybe a friend that may be coming in or something like that let's get some yeah all right let's see who's coming in for virgo who's coming in for virgo with the you know with these positive changes virgo will be making in order to improve the love life here who we got coming in for Virgo? Okay, you've got the Six of Wands. You've got the Judgment, Scorpio Energy. You've got the Page of Pentacles, all right? 
Now, we know judgment can be reconciliation. Don't be surprised when somebody from the past shows up. If you're doing nothing but getting more fabulous, Virgo, what the hell do you expect? Of course the past going to show up. All right. Six of Wands. Let's take a look at this. This could be somebody very popular, or this could just be a lot of attention coming towards you. We've got a Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy here with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a very romantic energy. Mm -hmm. this is flowers this is candy this is you know your favorite whatever all right let's see judgment let's see what this energy is we got the four of wands i mean the four of wands is the twin flame energy but it also is the energy of like marriage celebration stability harmony okay Someone who could live in your neighborhood for some of you could be making a judgment call about you or making a decision about you. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. Y'all got wish fulfillment coming. Yes. Some of you are going to meet someone like at like a neighborhood party or something, like a neighborhood get together, a neighborhood something or another. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Okay, we've got the world, all right? So there could be someone at a distance for some of you. Others of you, again, we see a friendship that's blossoming into something else, okay? Because the world is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, all right? So mm, some of you got a friend, oh, an emperor, Aries energy. Someone who is stepping up. This is masculine energy, but you don't have to, it doesn't have to be a man or a woman. This could just be the energy this person is embodying where it's like they know what they want. Okay, this is a stepping up energy. So you see with just subtle changes of practicing more self-love, investing more in yourself, which I know in itself sounds cliche, Virgo. It's like, okay, all right, okay. All right, yeah. I'm going to get some of these too because these can be quite rude, but I think these could be beneficial for you. <laughs> yeah, these could be quite rude. Um, but I'm going to make sure um, I keep it clean, okay? Yeah. But uh, this is all about you investing in yourself, your your aesthetics, your looks, your your you know your confidence. All right, it's all connected. All right, let's see what we got for my Virgo gang. Gang, hold on, y'all. Let me get a little. All right, tell Virgo attract the love that they want. Changes Virgo needs to make here. Let's see. It says, um, if you think some, if you think someone lying, they are. I feel like this is an energy of you um, weeding out the the bad stuff right away, like not falling for the bull, right? Because time is the only thing we can't get back, and I just feel like there's some time wasters out there. So we're not wasting time on the time wasters, right? Yeah, there's no cussing on that one, so I can put that one over there. Yeah, we're not wasting time on the time wasters. No. No. What else for Virgo? To attract the love that they want. And that could be within your current connection too, okay? Whatever you're about to do, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the effing time. So there's something, again, there's something spirit is that you don't, spirit does not want you to waste time on. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that stuff done, okay? But there's other things where it's time to get it done. We just talk about um fitness and health and stuff like that that's a big thing too with i'm not an ast uh, astrology person too much i'm i'm learning but i know there's something about the current positions of the planets and stuff with virgo where you should be concentrating a lot on health and fitness you guys so it's it may not be just that though there also may be some creative projects that you all need to get done something in the community for some of you okay we also have the energy of apologize if there's someone that you need to make amends with or you feel like you deserve that apology i don't know it may be time to get the that closure done this has a cuss word on it so i'm going to turn that over it says seriously just do it for some of you the apology is not because you've really done something wrong it could just be hey Let's have peace. Let's close this chapter, right? That is especially if you are in a current situation that you want to keep healthy, that you want it to continue to grow, okay? For others of you, you're listening to this reading because you're ready to disconnect from something and get something better, 
Okay, it is what it freaking is. Okay, all right, we finna finish it off with a couple um of those love oracles, y'all. All right, let's see. I'm gonna start with some of these. I fi I think these are called the um divine dancer oracle or something like that. I gotta. Remember the name of it. Okay. For Virgo. Seeking love to attract the love that they want or re-spark a current situation or keep the spark in a current situation. We have choreograph. Yeah. For some of you, this is literally about like getting into dancing and fitness and stuff like that. But choreographing is planning. It is orchestrating something. It is putting something together so that it flows um, well. Yeah, so I feel like a 10-step plan for some of you, a 5-step plan for some of you, okay? And I, I'm feeling this energy, mind, body, spirit, in, intuitive, um, get, like there's, a, there's just like an all-around change and growth and improvement in you, okay? The number 12 could be significant. We also have number 10, be fluid, again, unplugging, relaxing, going with the flow a little bit with when it comes to certain things okay what else for virgo you have fine tune a lot of you have already been doing a lot of work on yourself there's just some things you kind of need to tweak or fine tune all right and i feel like that's um something that you need to work on and i listen i ain't against a little nip tuck if that's what you can do and that's what you got to do then do what you got to do ain't no judgment over here be magnetized okay so for some of you i mean if you believe in certain you know spiritual practices that may attract okay where you're working with certain elements okay or herbs or or um you know um crystals and fossils and stuff like that um that's something that you may want to look into others of you um it says be magnetized. That means be able to allow people that are attracted to you to come to you, to talk to you, to, you know, yeah, you got to weed out the, you know, the fluff. You got to weed it out. It is what it is. But, um, you know, be able to be approachable. Okay. You have be ecstatic as well. I feel like that's the energy of being excited, being happy, being um, optimistic. Okay. About your love life. All right. What else for Virgo? All right. Attracting the love that they want or improving a current situation. All right. We have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So there's nothing you have to rush. Again, I feel like dating is okay. Dating multiple people, as long as you're single, is okay. Um, you may not always understand why certain things happen. How, however, there's always a higher purpose to even the, to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. I feel like that's that energy of like understanding that some rejection is really protection. Okay. It keeps you from wasting time, what we talked about earlier, okay? All right, let's get a couple more for Virgo. Attracting the love they want. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it. Live your dreams passionately. So there's something about embracing the new, not like staying stagnant in memories of, oh, they did this to me. They did that to me. What if this happens again? What if da, 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 da. It's time to embrace something new embrace it like take it in and and accept it and cultivate it and love it you know all right let's get one more for virgo all right and we have healing imagine yourself your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment be healed individually and also if you are within a connection there may be some healing that needs to be that needs to take place as well finally the bottom of the deck close your close your eyes tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy you can allow joy into your life regardless of the current circumstances you find yourself in so i feel like this is again that self-talk about what you deserve okay what you can have all right and um I feel like the universe, God, your higher power is going to meet you halfway. All right. 
got to change that stinking thinking for some of you. Uh, be more optimistic. All right, get rid of that pessimism when it comes to your love life. All right, um, not listening to the breakup songs. I hear because I used to do that too, y'all. I mean, if you're grieving, yeah, okay, listen to a couple breakup songs, get a good couple cries in, and then change the narrative, change that channel, honey, to all things romantic make you a wedding playlist even if there ain't no fiance in sight make you a wedding playlist y'all all All right and then then manifest imagine do your vision boards fantasize um you know visualize all of that okay yeah do it all y'all all All right um this doesn't mean be delusional but um with balance don't be afraid to manifest what you want all right I think this was very positive. This was a requested reading and I really loved it. Um, Keep the suggestions coming, y'all. Keep them coming. All right. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I go live and upload new content. All right, Virgos, light and love to y'all. Till next time. Bye-bye.